kind of unique person where I've been doing oncology drug discovery research for over 20 years. I have stage four cancer myself, and I'm a very strong uh, stage four cancer advocate around the world. And um, when I, a couple years ago, when I was diagnosed, I was basically up a creek without a paddle. I wasn't sure what to do. So what would you do if you were in trouble and needed some help? Well, you start calling around your, your social network. And my social network is other scientists. And so I email the president of AACR, which is the American Association of Cancer Research, which is the world's biggest organization for cancer research. It's, it's huge. Uh, 50,000 people in And he said, hey, I'm in trouble. Can you help me out? And his name was Jeff Wall. He said, I'll see what I can do. He then contacted Craig Metner, who some of you may know his name. He is one of the people that decided for genome in the late 1990s. Cover of Time magazine, very big guy. Once again, he said, I'll see what I can do. He then followed a tortured path, and eventually it led to uh, Dr. Steven Strohlberger, Dr. Ezra Cohen. And um, when he introduced me to them in their project, I was totally blown away. Because some of you may have heard about immunotherapies, which are revolutionizing cancer research right now, where they use the body's immune system to fight the cancer, rather than simply poisoning it with traditional chemotherapy. And what they do is very special. Current immunotherapies are not um, are off the shelf. The same ones are given to the same patients. Um, they're not personalized. And they don't work for all cancers. And for a lot of cancers, they may only work for 10%, 20%, 40%. There's a lot of room for improvement. And it's my fervent belief that by personalizing them to, to a patient's individual tumor, they'll be able to increase those um, odds of getting response and successful treatment. Maybe bring it also uh, uh, efficacious immune cancer types. It really is the next generation of cancer research. Um, at the same time, I was also starting to feel a little bit guilty. Because as I said, when I was up the creek without a paddle, I pulled up, open my, my iPhone contact list, I had a bunch of scientists in it. And I could eventually be led to a person with, with his picture on the cover of time. But 99.9% .9 of patients don't have that available to them. And so what became important to me was, um, UCSD Morris Cancer Center is starting up uh, in the very near future, a center for per personalized immunotherapy <laughs> where patients at, this, at, the, at the Morris Cancer Center can have access to this brand new technology that's still exploratory and experimental. And they don't need to know a scientist. And they can be really at the forefront of, of cancer research. And this really will be a world-renowned institution. People who will be flying here from around the country and around the world. And we're lucky enough living in San Diego. It will be in our backyards for us to use if we ever need to. Um, and so with that, I wanted to uh, uh, change the stage over to the real people that want to talk here. First will be Dr. Steven Schoenberger, who is in charge of the preclinical aspects of the project. Cells will be different than the uh, person next to them, who may have uh, what we call the same cancer, but at a DNA level, it's actually different. Once we understand that, and are you guys following me so far? You're following me? Once we understand that, we also understand that everyone's immune system is different. So your immune system is different than your friend's and that's different than your other friend because our immune systems have grown up being exposed to different things. And what Steve and I are, are trying to do, and we're almost there, I'm, I'm happy to say, is that we're gonna bring together the what makes every cancer unique and what makes every immune system unique. And we're gonna train a person's immune system to fight their cancer. We think that when we do that, we're gonna be able to treat it, we're gonna be able to cure it, and we're gonna be able to do it without making the person incredibly sick. This is something that we're doing right now. We're not talking about something that we wanna do uh, five years or 10 years or 20 years from now, we're talking about something that we're doing right now. Major uh, needs is just getting the word out there. And, and part of the reason that we're here today is to tell people what's going on really in your backyard, um, that, we're, that there's some of the greatest science in the world going on right here in San Diego. And uh, some of the greatest uh, uh, clinical trial possibilities right here in San Diego, a lot of them homegrown. Um, so get the word out there. Tell, uh, tell people that this is going on. It's going on here. Forever young.